What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to run up on last time, the major events where we defended Zagreb once more and we also captured the French region of Brussels. So because the United Provinces has emerged as another faction once more, then France now has one territory. So this is an exceptionally good opportunity to knock them out of the game. Sadly, they do not have many territories abroad to take advantage of. It's just the Leeward Islands, which I don't really care about. Nice to have, but, you know, nothing to write home about. Um, but our main effort, our main, main focus for me is down here in Spain. So I could take this army right now, storm it across the, fo across the gap, and capture Gibraltar and wipe them out because there is no other Spanish territories on the map. And I may end up having to do that. Um, but I'd like to fight a bit, a few battles against the Spanish before knocking them out. Especially with this army in place, if they fall back to Gibraltar then they'd be well placed to take them out. But when I'm trying to build a religious, a religious uh, building in Tangier and I also have one of my first Religious agents here in Genoa. No, wait. It's not you. Because oh, I've lost all my side things. It must be. Oh, it must be one of them. Lists, lists, agents. Teleco Bologna, which is Venice. No, uh, wait a minute, it's not Venice. God damn, I do not know my Italian regions. God, so where the hell is... Ah, he's in the College of Divinity. See, I was looking for cities. Um, so we are converting Naples because we've got this church school. Rome also has a... Does Rome have a church school? No, Rome doesn't... Oh, it does, obviously. That's where my regent was recruited from. Cool. So let's go to Milan. So we're starting to convert the Italian peninsula into Protestantism. This could take a while, especially for the larger cities. But it's going to be worth it start cranking up that religious happiness. Sweet, and you're still being annoying. But we have a new army here and a Sheridan Goodfellow being formed up. So I expect the Westphalians are going to come smashing straight towards us. So much so, I may actually turn off some of this upgrading and repairs just so I can spend some more money on replenishment. Just to try and do what I can. Let's try this. Yep, triple chevron, three levels rather than five. Let's replenish, good stuff. Um, I don't think there's much more I can do. Yeah, and keep their experience high, keep their experience high. Feed you into them. So I've lost a unit, but I can immediately just pop one over from Paris. So this army and Amadeus Crisp becomes that much more important to hold off against the French. But I would like it if they run so. towards Amadeus once more, so I can have I can kill them in a river crossing battle once more. I'm actually try and do didn't work. Basically I'm just trying to keep the experience levels of my units high. If that means I end up needing to hire more... I end up having... Well, the best way to maintain experience seems to be merging units after battles rather than reinforcing, because obviously reinforcing just dilutes your force. 
So let's send two more fresh units to reinforce Amadeus. Good stuff. Now we've also got more money to fix the governor's palace. And just about finished replenishing here. Cool. Our research and tech is okay. Let's hit end turn and let's see what happens. Because I did lose sight of a Polish army. Navy, sorry. In the Americas. And I don't quite know where it is. Ooh, come on. Just a little bit closer. Curse you, Spaniards! Come and attack me just once in Madrid, and I can fight a great siege. Ah, oh, there they are. Wait a minute, are they attacking? Who are they attacking? What a strange move. I'm just a second, I could clear my nose one second, guys. So, drop their troops. Me. Okay. Which is an odd decision. They can't attack you, they'll deploy your troops, and then they seem to. Circular route. Um, it off to the left in the Caribbean, so it's not. If they let any simple matter to then deal with it. He will be on the front foot, and. Although I would have preferred attacked Russia, but I'd love to play late game. Well. Doing their turn. I think they're actually. India, the objectives that stand out the most, is missing. But we will. We will get to them. Haha, <laughs> they are going to charge in with lots of rubbish troops. Sorry, Herbert Ketterer, you're done for. Being against the smaller Germanic states is good fun, but you've got to get ready for them to keep coming back. Man, they're like the Indians in that respect. They will just storm you with more troops than you can handle eventually. Um, but here, because we have breaches, I'm just going to create a killing field. They have the strength. Will try to smash their way in with oh, they're actually... <laughs> Attack oh yeah, they're taking from the other way, aren't they? Oh yeah, I'm an idiot. Okay, let's deploy our... Come on. So I'd like to deploy my army outside first, because it gives me a view on what I have and haven't done. Let's just put my heavy cavalry out here. So even though they're going to want to try to get to the breaches, they're probably not going to get to them. Especially not... Especially not if they're, they're being shot to hell as they go around the fort. So, to be honest, I might end up doing something like this, rather than defending the inside, I'll defend the flanks. Let's turn off, fire at will for both of them. Although, to be honest, there's not much infantry to guard them. Now, let's bring them inside, otherwise they're going to get rushed. Very small unit of infantry guards. To be honest, I'll probably keep my cavalry inside as well. And my general. Because they're gonna as the as the armies peel around the outside, then my defenders at the front will start to move around the walls. I'm 
I mean, they may as well just keep. They are vulnerable. But I doubt the units that make it this far will actually be that coherent. I mean, these guys might be. There's a chance they go for a conventional assault and they do actually try climbing the walls. So some of them are. If that's so, halt my artillery. Let's get my heavy cavalry outside the walls. These guys should get eviscerated as they run along this section of the wall because they'll be fired on by three infantry units. Granted, one of them is very weak. Do as much damage as you can. These guys could get out, that would be lovely. Because they're actually making it in good strength. Okay, you. Band on the wall. Not enough. You tank them. Let's get the heavy cavalry into the backside. Here in the centre of the gate. Shattered. Charge the heavy cavalry in. Actually, charge the heavy cavalry in over here. Slice them up. Get my arrows to start plinking at the general. Let's get my heavy cavalry out of the way.
push through. Because how it's a shot. Missed him. Get out. Let them charge in. Fire! Bam! Bam. Oh, God, life. Fountains. Off the general's bodyguard, he's running loose. The militia just has no staying power. Kill mon général. Slice and dice. Is he doing a good job against the general? Sort of. He's doing a good job against their general. Well, it's one of their generals anyway. Just keep my cavalry firing. Shoot at them, I have no idea. Bouncing shot, he's got a nice couple of cavalry there. Hey, they hit him with the howitzer shot right when I left. Put a bit of speed up. I don't know, these guys are getting. Nope, they're dead. Five, four, three, two, one there and one here. Guy, chase them down. To be honest, who is there actually left? The general. He's on mid mighty cavalry. Yeah, they, these guys have run out of range now. Cowardly dogs. They are within range. This von Miltitz cavalry. Let's group them together. Let's group my cavalry together. And let's triple speed it. Let's try and knock this guy out with cavalry. These guys out with artillery. Then we'll advance on the general. Because my guys are running out tired. So I want to give them a bit of a break. So let's just watch these guys get. Artilleried. Lotharo's landing short, but they're still at least in the rough. And they're broken. They're, no, they've all broken. 
Sweet. So you managed to knock back Billion Push. The loss of only 64 men. Beautiful. Back you go. So the problem is my North American fleet is in bad shape and is very because I didn't have the funds. Land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms so the United Provinces are declared on someone grow over time. and everyone disagrees. I mean that fleet's pretty ragged as well. Take all my fleet, send them in, then we'll chop them up and then get them back to. Get them back to. We'll get them, put, put them into port and have them repair. We rule the way. Didn't lose any ships. Orders, They've survived, but I want to take. Spend some money to make, keep my ships alive for now first. So let's send a sloop from Cartagena to see if we can spot where they've dropped off their army. Aha! They're after New Mexico, and I wish them joy of the day, because I would love to take New Mexico. These guys might get caught out outside of port, but that's fine, it's only a sloop. Um, let's start to bring up some infantry up to here. Oh yes, because you were going to go knock out the remaining troops. Good stuff, painting. You guys replenish. Let's upgrade some of the stuff at Caracas. It's got lots of troops, the new Spaniards do, They're not very good ones. But I'll certainly turn them away from wanting to send their army overseas. Tangiers has cobbled roads. Has yes, it yes it was cobbled roads. Oh, I think I wanted to knock you down, didn't I? I replace you with the church school. Yeah, weavers prosperous. Weavers prosperous. Weavers cottage more beneficial than a low yield iron mine. So let's set. Plenish a bit more. Let's set Amadeus to go intercept Francois Delville, because we can't really let them loose. We can't leave them roam and do as they please. So we must attack them. Otherwise, I'll just run around raiding all my stuff. I mean, another option could have been just to shoot straight for Strasbourg, but nah, none of us. So, artillery is going to be up on the hill. Same with the howitzers. Because we have our main battle line, a special unit that's going to advance around the flank on the right. is going to follow up, including first Philadelphia, General's bodyguard in the centre. enough. Blep. So 
to then form square. You guys run. Let's ignore their cavalry for now. what I thought. First Philadelphia's go after the general. Charge these up to fill the gap. Cavalry's been defeated. Guard is in the way. Cavalry's come back. Let's go the dreadnoughts to the rear. Let's run the Philadelphia's up over the hill. General. Some hidden fusiliers. The general's been killed. One of them has. It's not necessarily him. Although it was. Friendly fire kicking in. fun too. I'll turn fireball. Oh. Slice and dice like grenadiers. Need to make sure we do get that gun team. Because it's on the march. Gaga Gaji Granville, sorry, 39th, you're about to get a hit from the charging cav. Managed to scoot them out of the way. No, in the most annoying way, the general's bodyguard has returned. Kill the gun. Go kill that gun. Let's turn off all our artillery. Kill this unit of Bulkley's regiment because they're almost dead. You go after that unit of Swiss Guard. 
These guys are going to escape, but that's okay, there's not. Yeah, there's a couple of medium. Well, they're, they're good units, but they're knackered, so... Speed up time. In fact, get you over here against them. Continue. I told you to stop firing. I mean, I don't know if his, don't know if his general's dead or not. Yeah, that general's dead. So this should be so many dead French troops. Ah, oh, they're going to escape. My general's going to get a good charge off. That wasn't close. That was nowhere near close. That was a damn good thrashing is what that was. Good stuff. I mean, we lost more men than I'd like, but their army, they've only got 200 men remaining. That's a raiding force. Forward. If I select... Oh, I was about to say, if I select everyone but the guns, Forward. can I kill them? I mean, I might march you up to here and go after Strasbourg. You can pick up some infantry from elsewhere. You're a good Nick. I think Tristan might end up being evolved into a full army. Same with the garrison at Fort Moncton. Push them out to take Bavaria. Push these guys out to support Zagreb. And reopen our supply line. Yeah, but you've been built. You've got a general's bodyguard. Simon Weston. Your Amadeus Crisp's Crisp's brother. And also the Falklands War survivor, I think. The Welsh Guardsman. Sweet. So Let's hit turn and then get ready to immediately cut the recording when the Russian part shows up. Well, I don't want to cut you guys out of these things completely because you get to see what's going on. It's just frustrating that Russia seems to be so happy to bog it all down. <laughs> yep, they're just going to go on a little raiding party. I mean, what if we just did trade? <laughs> They're a protector of Dagestan. Oh, they have actually attacked us in in Lisbon, not Lisbon, Madrid. What the poles get up to? Yes. yes, 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 That is exactly what I wanted to see. <laughs> if, if, if my reaction didn't give it away. Uh, New Mexico is a very, very wealthy region. So it's useful to have. Very useful to have. Right here, guys, and we're back. And yes, I very, 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 very much want to send an army to go and secure New Mexico but that's for uh, to, to go secure Mexico City and that's why it's very fortunate our forces in Louisiana have stayed where they are because that means we have troops ready to respond immediately depending on how their on how their uh, artillery situation is there is unused land suitable for farming in this region Chase down Building them. farms here will help the population to grow over time. Stabby stab. stab. Anything more? Don't upgrade anything there yet. Your orders, your majesty. Okay, let's move you round. Ready to attack. Ready for eh, to be honest, actually, and then I might send you guys. You guys can wait here. Build up your Get a unit of heavy horse howitzers and let's 
some 24 pounders, two howitzers, two lighter cavalry. Let's get unit of hussars and a unit of regiment of horse to do more of the chasing down. And then probably another unit of standard line infantry. Probably a good call. There we go. Let's send this army here. You just need to build four units of howitzers, and then you'll be ready to drive east. Don't upgrade my infrastructure here because that, that will improve their ability to move around more than mine. You too need artillery. That'll be you done, although I would like to take take these two units out. Awaiting further order. Now let's recruit two units of cuirassiers. And these guys are ready to strike north into Bavaria. Hello. Eh. Try to get the general. Damn, they spotted him. So they are laying siege to me now in Madrid. That's a bit dodgy. But I think the grand scheme is actually fine. Go to starting to convert the population to Catholicism. You're going to move up steadily to the fort in New Granada. You're going to get to port in Cartagena. Your Majesty. Ah, you could do with artillery, but it'll take forever to get here. That's a lot of stuff you could probably you could do with beefing up. There we go, so Cuba is going to build up some howitzers and cavalry. Actually, no, you don't need the cavalry. Get two units of infantry there just to make sure. Sweet. Yeah, Madrid has been besieged. We're probably going to sally out. Uh, diplomacy. United Provinces. Let's trade and ally. What do you mean you've seen a benefit for the Republic? What if we just trade? Have copper bottoms. Fine. Screw you. <laughs> That's what I say. Ah, uh, yes, and there is these chaps down here. Make ready. That instead may be your first port of call to go knock out these chaps in Marseille. Well, before this, my first battle may actually be Elias Fielding leaving Lisbon. Can't do that, General. They're very unhappy, but only for a turn. Your order is your and he wants to bash straight into Fire this them. army that's entrenched. Let's create a threat to their southwest. Let's do it. Because I'll end up just deploying troops in front of my walls. And then they will hopefully advance towards me. Whereby the fire by rank from the guys on the front of the wall and the fire and cannons from atop the walls. That's the strategy anyway. Ah, these are a bit of a Funky placement. Okay, so my guns want to advance up to here. This unit of guns. Oh, I did. Is that a good idea? Troops on Limbo! 
the limb is going to die, but whatever. That should be interesting, at least. Let's create our front line. It's going to push up and secure the hill. A small force to secure towards the town. And two cavalry detachments, one on each flank. Howitz is going to advance up to the main line with the general in pursuit. First regiment, no less. Speed up time somewhat. Okay, don't advance it that far. Looks like their cavalry wants to charge ours. A few of those might actually get some shots off. Okay, so they've abandoned their artillery completely. Send the marines in on melee combat. Send our other special detachment to charge in through the hills, through through the town. So these units charge in and limber our guns and limber the howitzers, bring the general up. The cavalry's been defeated. I figured we may as well just. I don't normally chase down routing cavalry, but because they've decided to stay in easy position, or stay in an easy position for us to kill. Good. They've now. We've now hit their lines. Bit of a sound bug. Oh, the artillery's coming in. Starting to break. Charge. These bandoliers wanted to chase us down. Bandoliers. This is high unit chased down the demi cannons. Keep charging our lifeguards on to make sure that we are actually. They're doing their job. Breaking, breaking formations. Come on, Marines. Regimento de Soria. Not enough. Go for the second foot guards. the defences. Let's get my 
General's bodyguard to chase after some of these routing troops. Fuse laser be pipes is usually a bad idea. Let's change our stop fire with our foot artillery. Bodyguard still alive and kicking. For now, he's back here, so he'll be nice and safe. General's chasing down this elite marine unit. Good stuff. Yeah, my fuse days will eventually kill this elite unit because there's not many of them left. doing a good job killing the Fusiliers. <laughs> Some recovery might be dying in a crossfire. But they're waiting for this unit to row. You guys aren't even... Let's hold fire. If you can get that one guy... Let's see if we can cut off the Swiss pikes. It's probably not the best use of my cavalry to send my lifeguards chasing, running up the hill, but there we are. Speed up time, because there is... There was a unit back there. Absolutely continue. The native infantry unit, I suspect they will rout. Decisive victory, damn right. A solid amount of cavalry means we can actually get gains in battle. Look at that. 467 lost for 2,000. Almost their entire army has just been eviscerated. Make ready. With that, my army can just push up. Good. Then we are probably going to Sally, because if we wait too much longer, it's just going to get worse and worse. Especially as they're actually depleted, mostly, just like we are. But let's do it. We're going to Sally out from Madrid. If we lose, um, then we might be attacking Morocco. <laughs> That's my should things go awry. But sometimes it's when they eventually do attack. I mean, I was gonna... Uh... Okay, hold on. So let's put down our artillery.
put our biggest units out front. Actually, to be honest, I might even put all my artillery in a big, big central battery. So I did that, I could split split these weak units up, half and half, half and half-ish. Group my cavalry together, put my howitzer out. Let's put my rangers on the walls to man some guns. Weakest unit, which is probably going to be you guys. So, this is my wall division. And then these guys hunker up. Same with you. General out front. So, we've got infantry coming in from the flank. Shots. Charge my cavalry in. So at least with the walls mounted, my guys are manning the maximum amount of guns as they can. There's enough to wall them off, but they can't quite stop themselves. Good must have been cover on the flank. General's bodyguard is routing. Colonial lights moving in to take its place. Start switching to canister shots. Cavalry's charging again. Should be enough to deal with them. I'm not looking to beat any units. I'm not looking to chase them down and maximise kills and stuff like that. I'm just looking to survive. There we 
go. Any cavalry canister shots off. Good stuff. Another unit of cavalry coming around the flank. To see a pikeman, although they look brilliant. Charge in, Andrew Hamilton. Now may be the time for you to die, Andrew. Oops. Send these guys in. It's quick. Help the general. God, Andrew. Andrew's done well. He has two men. Good. Get him out of dodge. Troops lined up. Tess, your pikemen are coming back. Bang! Oh man, the second light foot won't know what's hit him. Halberdier's guard. God damn, they do have halberds. Perfect. Start shooting the crap out of them with our artillery. Swiss pikes. God, those guys are like champions. Already home. The Royal Regiment of Foot Royal Halberdier's Guard is walking to an absolute fire storm. Switched cast shot. Take no chances. Enough of that. Let's wheel this flank around. Halberdier's guard and get a chance to try out their helmets. Good. It's the 
spikes charging in. Damn right, back you go. That's the problem with melee troops in this era. Guns exist. Blast the pikes. Damn, they're taking absolute hammer in. Nope. Had enough. So now is the time to unleash the cavalry. No, that was the last. That is the Halberdier's guard that came back. Damn it! Semi general on expedition. Take those cannons back up again. Let's give my general after this unit of Swiss pikes. This is the problem with deploying a cavalry too early, is all it does is it just aggroes all of their troops onto your cavalry. So the battle that is that was going absolutely swimmingly now takes on an extra few minutes. Because because they just really want to kill your cavalry. So much so, let's just bring the general back. Ah! Amazons, run! Let's just let the, the game naturally run its course. I need a crap load of artillery. Blast him with canister shot. They get off one good volley. Or a couple of good volleys, because they're actually outside of my range. Of my muskets, anyway. Not for my artillery, they're not. Scallywags. Speed up time, because this battle is effectively over. Back you go. Let's turn off the firewall from my wall divisions. Everybody, shoot the living crap out of the 15th. The general takes revenge on these Amazons. Oh, let's end the battle there. That's a good, that was a good, solid win. Let's push the Spanish back. Let's 
brought us some breathing space for the, the loss of not too many of our men. No, only 400. Let's knock them back. Knock them back. Obviously, there is this army coming in from the northeast. So we immediately just spend money on replenishment as much as we can. All the while, Justin Gates is waiting for his chance to pounce. Everything's been done. Yes, my lord. Dispatch some units to go take out Nicholas, Joseph, and Nenon. Ninon? Nenon? The sea is ours. Get them on the fifth. Let's retreat all the way up to Iceland. Good, let's get the fleet back together. Their Grand Opera House to keep these people happy, especially if I'm going to move their army soon. Actually, instead, then I want to build a church school. Let's get this religious unrest down. Sweet, everything seems pretty chilled. So, I think I'm going to end this part here because it is now a special. Um, so, things are going quite well. We're still advancing our wins, we're still advancing our agenda in the Americas, even though it's not against New Spain itself. But yes, things are going well. Actually, one thing I might want to do... Let's have my navy over here ready to pick up the guns and stuff when they're recruited in Cuba. But yes, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.